Welcome to our work on improving human evaluation for text-to-image models. Text-to-image models have been extensively researched, but assessing their performance remains a challenge. Specifically, human evaluation in this area lacks common practices. We conducted a survey of recently published papers and discovered that human evaluation in this area has reliability and transparency issues. To address this, we developed a standardized human evaluation protocol for text-to-image models. Our findings reveal a considerable discrepancy between FID and human evaluations, and the recently introduced CRIP score is already outdated. We offer some human evaluation resources and hope they benefit future research. Let's start by discussing a survey we conducted on 37 recent text-to-image research papers. Our findings revealed that only 20 out of the 37 papers included human evaluation, meaning that 17 of these works solely relied on automatic measures. Upon examining the 20 papers that incorporated human evaluation, we noticed that the evaluation methods varied significantly between papers. Unfortunately, none of these papers reported the quality of the collective human ratings, making it difficult to know the effective approach for conducting human evaluations. Furthermore, we identify that crucial experimental details are frequently omitted. As previously mentioned, the quality of collective human ratings is not reported. Additionally, information regarding crowdsourcing configurations, such as compensation and outdata qualifications, is typically missing. We also found that sharing interface code for human evaluation is less common compared to sharing model code. Due to the lack of detailed reporting, human evaluation in this area faces reliability and transparency issues. To address the problems in human evaluation, we have created a standardized evaluation protocol that works with Amazon Mechanical Turk. The screenshot is our simple annotation interface. It features two key questions focused on fidelity and alignment to text allowing annotators to rate the images using a five-point scale. Our protocol is open source, and we tested various designs and chose the one with a better inter-annotator agreement. We also provide a report template to help researchers share their results, promoting the inclusion of annotation quality assessment and other crucial details. We collect human ratings for images generated by four text-to-image models. The examples shown here demonstrate that the ratings are reasonable. As we move from left to right, our tutors progressively have given higher ratings to the images. We compared FID and collected human ratings for different models. We observed a significant difference between the rankings of models based on FRG and human variation. The results show that human preferred stable diffusion, while FRG favored CoView2. Looking at the images, CoView2 has more artifacts, but FRG doesn't catch them well. This means using only FID to check quality can be inconsistent with what people actually perceive. So it's important to consider human evaluation too. We also investigated CRIP score, a recently proposed automatic measure for assessing how well text and images match. Interestingly, Lafitte and Stable Diffusion achieve higher scores than authentic image and caption pairs from Coco Captions. However, human data still rate the real images as having the best alignment. Let's take a look at a few examples of image and caption pairs with their respective clip score displayed on each image. As you see, a higher clip score does not necessarily mean better alignment. Our experiment suggests that clip score has reached a saturation point, 
and may no longer be a reliable tool for evaluating state of jet generative models. Here, we provide sample size analysis. Sample size is important in human evaluation because it affects the reliability of conclusions. This graph shows how the number of tested prompts influences the reliability of human evaluation. The lines represent average human ratings of alignment over 500 trials with a 5 to 95 percentile interval. As you can see, when there are fewer prompts, the ranges overlap more. This means that conclusions from small samples can change based on the prompts chosen. Based on our experimental result, we need to use over 100 samples to compare these models for better reliability. For small-scale experiments, we advise reporting statistical significance and effect size to provide a more comprehensive understanding of outcomes. In conclusion, the key takeaways from this study are as follows. Firstly, it is crucial to validate the human evaluation protocol and provide sufficient details to ensure reliable and transparent human evaluation. And secondly, solely relying on automatic evaluation is insufficient. We recommend careful discussions that incorporate various evaluation methods to avoid misleading conclusions. And lastly, regular updates to the human evaluation process are necessary, as our current design may not be optimal. We have made our resources available to the community, hoping for continuous improvements to enhance efficiency and reliability of human evaluation. Thank you for listening. For more details and resources, please check our project page.